Newsy, I'm Christina Hartman. Thousands of protesters stormed the American Embassy in Cairo in protest over a Coptic Christian movie aired by Arabic media sites. The fury on the anniversary of 9-11 isn't lost on the world. First, take a look at the video filmed exclusively by Rost.com. It shows Salafist protesters storming the U.S. Embassy in Egypt, tearing down the American flag outside and replacing it with the black flag of Al-Qaeda groups. The protesters then reportedly tore the American flag to shreds. CNN had a reporter on the scene who notes this was not an ordinary protest in a nation which has seen lots of them of late. Definitely an, a very uh, a very Islamic looking crowd. We see a lot of men uh, in their traditional garb. Not the usual crowd that we see at most protests. Foreign policy notes today's protest is a sign of the ongoing tensions between the Muslim and Christian communities. It's hard to watch that video today of all days without thinking of the deep-rooted anti-Americanism that proved fertile soil for the terror attacks 11 years ago. It also evokes memories of the 1979 storming of the U.S. Embassy in Tehran. The Coptic Christian film which caused the uproar made its way to the Middle East just in time for 9-11. The Atlantic shares a short clip and calls the movie so offensive it caused today's protests. His name is Mohammed. We could call him the father unknown. <laughs> Mohammed. Mohammed the bastard. Your lady summons you. My lady? Aram Online notes efforts by Christians and the U.S. Embassy to distance itself from such extremist rhetoric proved unsuccessful in turning away the protesters. Various local churches in Egypt have condemned the film in recent days. The U.S. Embassy condemned the ongoing efforts by misguided individuals to hurt the feelings of Muslims and the continued attacks on the religious beliefs of others under the guise of freedom of expression. For Newsy, I'm Christina Hartman. Multiple sources, The Real Story.